and welcome to the Microsoft Office 2010 tutorial on Microsoft Office Help. This is for Microsoft Word 2010. Obviously, if you're using an earlier version, such as 2007 or 2003, things are going to look a little different, but the basics are still the same. Okay, so here we have the outline. This is what you see when you open up Microsoft Word for the first time. You have your blank page and you have the toolbar up the top. Now the toolbar is pretty much just for all the options to edit things and just makes the experience a bit simpler to access everything. If you do have something different or if your page looks a little bit different to mine, for example, if you still have text on it or if everything is just a bit weird, you go file, click up the file at the top there and you go new and then you double click on blank document and this opens up a brand new blank document for you to see. Now the first thing we're going to do when we open up a new document is change the view of it. So up the top here, we're going to click on the view button that I have here. So on the view, um, the view tab, we have all of the different things we can change to edit how we see the page. So for example, we have the different layouts. Right now, we're on print layout and this is the default layout. We can change that to full screen or something such as a web layout, an outline, or a draft. So for this, I'm just going to keep it as a print layout as I find it simple and easy to use. We also have things like the zoom function. So if it's a bit too far out or too far in, we can change it by clicking on zoom and we can put in uh, 200, 100 or 75%. So 75%, 100 and 200. Personally, I like to keep it on around 130, but you can change this as far as you like, it's up to you. So the first thing we're going to do is type something in. So to type something in Microsoft Word, you simply click on the page and then you type. So yeah, it's pretty, it's as simple as that. You type in and it shows up on the screen. So this is the basic sentence and with the sentence, we can do many things with it um, in Microsoft Word. The first thing we can do is change the font of it. So if we highlight it, so we click and drag over the text, so it's highlighted in blue, and then we go up here on the home panel, we have font options. So if we click on this box here, currently it's on delivery. Now we can change this to anything we like, it's one of the preferred options. So we can change it to Algerian. So as you can see, the text has changed there, or we can go for something a little bit different and larger, such as this. So for this tutorial, I'm just going to be keeping it as the um, default, as it is on the eyes and it's easy to read. Now next, if we want to make the font larger or smaller, what we do is we click on here for the numbers and it ranges from 8, which is very small, all the way up through to 72, which is obviously very large. Now you can put in like any big words, you can put 5 if you have extremely good eyesight or if you zoomed in very, very far. But for this, we're just going to keep it on 10 since it's the default and it's easy and yeah. So then we also have things such as bold. So if you wanted to bold your entire sentence, we just click on the B and the sentence is now bold. If we just want to bold one word, then we highlight that. So we just highlight the area that we want to be bold and then click on it. It's as easy as that. And then we also have um, the italics. So if you want to italicize the text, you highlight it again and press that. The same thing for underlining, highlight what you want to be underlined and yeah, it's as simple as that. We also have things such as strikeout and um, subscript and the other version of subscript, I forget what it's called, superscript, yeah. And for example, this is if you want it to write along the top of it. So yeah, that's pretty much what it does. You're not going to be using this too often, but it is useful in some scenarios. Now across from here, we have the paragraphing. So this is to change the centering of the text. So if we click there, the text is centered or there it's on to the right. So normally we're gonna keep it on the left. And then we can um, put in things such as numbering. So one and yeah, so, or dot points. It's, you just click these buttons and it automatically shows up. Yeah, that's pretty much it like that. And to get rid of text, you just hit the backspace key or the back arrow on your keyboard. And then you have um, the titles and the styles. So if we click on this button here, it shows a wider range of styles. I don't have that menu on at the moment, so this is what you can see. So to insert a title, we just highlight over it and it gives us a quick preview. And so 
typical control we like. For example, I think this one looks all right. We just click on it and it changes that to title. So okay, so I think this is a little bit big. So what we're gonna do is we need to change the font. So over here, we have the font and we can change that down to something like 20 foot title. So the title stands out, it looks visible, and it is just very easy to use. To get off the title, we can either click down here or we can press enter and that returns the text to normal and the font to normal. And then we have other options in Microsoft Word that we can use if we choose to. For example, if we click off the insert tab, we can insert things such as pictures or shapes. So if I wanted to insert a shape, I could just click on that. And if I wanted to draw an awesome arrow, because why not? You click and you drag and it draws a shape for you. So you can change this around, you can change it in any way. And yeah, so when you do insert a shape, you'll see up here, it's changed from insert to drawing to this format. Now this just changes the color and changes the layers to the shape of your drawing. When you click off of it, it goes back to home or when you delete it, it does. If we go back to insert, we also have things such as screenshots or charts. Now charts are especially useful if you're doing a report and you want to show some information. So you might be able to say, I want to do a bar graph. I click on bar graph and go, okay. And now it opens up in Microsoft Excel. So we're gonna ignore this for now. I'll explain this in the Excel tutorial. And so as you can see, it's inserted a graph and things are just the basic values that it's used. You can check, you can edit everything in this from the series to your values to everything. And so we're just gonna get rid of this for now. So we can highlight it and press delete, or we can just go control and D to undo it. And there we have things next. Um, after insert, we have page layout and the layout can change things such as the margin and the size. So for example, if we think the margins a little bit too big and we want it to go back a bit more, it's a bit more into the page, we click on margins and then go narrow. And as you can see, it's gone up and to the left as the, mar the invisible margin has lessened. If you don't like any of the preset ones, you can custom margins and put in values that you want, but we don't really need to do that right now. So I'm just gonna keep that as normal. And we have orientation if you wanted a landscape or portrait pick this landscape and then the size. So we could change it from like a letter to A3 paper if we wanted to do like a poster or back to A4, the normal size of the sheet. Then we have columns. And we also have things such as watermarks and other things, we're just gonna ignore them for now. So references, we're just gonna ignore this for now as you, you won't need to need this too much, same as mailings. Next thing that we use is review. So review is to go over the page. This shows things such as the spelling, how many words you've written and things like that. It can also translate things. So for example, say I wanted to translate hello into another language. I just hit the translate button and go translate selected text. And on the top here, you have a new thing called research that just pops up a red. So here it says, I want to translate this from English to say, for example, Polish. You click on Polish and then you click insert. And then it changes it from hello to hello. I'm sorry if that's pronounced wrong, I do not know Polish. Let me just have a quick sip here. Then we have things such as the spelling and grammar check. So for example, so as you can see, some things in here are spelled wrong, such as hello, and yeah, it's not the greatest sentence in the world. So for example, if you want to change this and we have a full essay, and we can't be bothered going through it manually, changing everything. If we click on spelling and grammar, it will be, and click on there. Sorry, I accidentally clicked that there. It should, okay. So, and this is what's gonna pop up when you click on it. So it's gonna highlight things that it thinks is spelled wrong. Keep in mind, it's not 100% accurate for things such as names. As you can see, I spelled my name wrong, but it didn't pick up on it because it's not 100% sure. But for things such as hello, it knows that it's spelled wrong, so it's gone up here, it's highlighted it in red, and it's shown different spelling suggestions. So it suggested the right one, so we click change. Then it changes it to the proper one. As you can see, it says it's complete, so that means your document, as far as it is concerned, is grammatically correct. Let's go close, I can see it already. Okay, and then we have the thesaurus. So that's just words that like, if you're not sure of the word, um, the meaning of it, and yeah, research, language, and other things. And then view, which we've gone over before, that just changes the view layout. So this is a basic overview of Microsoft Word 2010 and the things that you can do on it and just how to set up the basic um, page. Obviously, you can go more in depth, such as changing things such as paragraphs, but for now, 
uh, I'll leave this for a later tutorial. Um, I hope you have a nice day, and I hope you found this tutorial informative. Thank you.